Hello YouTubers, this is Sham and in this video I'm going to show you how to update your Sony Xperia device using Flash Tool. Flash Tool is a free software that everyone can use. You do not need to be rooted, unlocked or have anything done to your phone. This will not void your warranty. So very often you may find that certain updates don't come to your region weeks after they have been released everywhere else in the world. So Flash Tool is a solution for that. All you need to do is find the update that you want online, download it and use Flash Tool to put it into your phone. If there are any terms that you don't understand or would like to find out more about routing, unlocking and bootloader and so on and so forth, make sure you check out my most commonly asked video where you will find answers to most questions that you may have. So now let's get started with the procedure. First thing you need to do is go to the FlashTool.net website and download the Flash Tool software. You will find it under the download tabs there will be a few links you can use. Once you have downloaded Flash Tool, install it on your computer. Then go to the installation folder, open the folder called drivers and click on the Flash Tool drivers installation file. You will need to install the fast boot and flash mode drivers. So now you'll have the Flash Tool and the drivers ready for your device. All you need right now is the firmware. The best place to look for it is on the forums on XDA developers. Make sure you go on there and search for your device and I'm sure you'll find all the firmwares that have been released. Once you have the firmware in the FTF format, place it in flash tool slash firmwares in the flash tool installation folder. Before flashing you'll need to go into your device settings then about phone and click on the build number a few times until the developer options are enabled. Then go into developer options in the settings menu and enable USB debugging. Once this is done, power off your device. Get your USB cable ready and while holding the volume down button, connect the USB cable to your computer. Your device should now be connected in flash mode. Now all you need to do is open flash tool, then select uh, the little lightning bolt icon, then click on flash mode, press OK and then select the firmware you want to flash to your phone from the list. In the wipe options you can exclude data, this way all your apps and games and data saves won't be deleted from your phone. Now the final step is just to click flash and wait for the process to finish. Once it's done you can disconnect the phone and power it on and hopefully you'll have the new firmware installed on your device. The first boot can take a few minutes, so don't worry if it takes longer than usual, that's perfectly normal. Thanks for watching and please hit the subscribe button and like my video if you've enjoyed it.